Are there any storylines you're particularly proud of in the series so far? Yes. Um, mo I mean, really, I've been so delighted with the reception um, for all of the things coming so far. People have really particularly responded to the individual human stories as the dimension of the medical stories. But I suppose the unavoidable elephant in the room is at this time in 64, illegal abortion was prevalent. And in, I think it was one prison in London, one women's prison in London, there were 40 abortionists serving time just in Holloway at the time that this series of Call the Midwife is being made. So it was a real, this was the tip of the iceberg, so it was a really huge social problem. Now, within a few years from the time this series is out, they bring in an act to make abortion legal. Um, we are living in the days before then when these problems, these very, very difficult and um, complex social problems are beginning to come to a head in the country. And to navigate through that is something that Call the Midwife has never been afraid to do. But it's a real responsibility to place everybody's point of view, to try and see the complexity and the agony of this situation for women at this time in all of its views, right down through 60. It's very, very difficult. I think we do a lovely job of it. We're very proud. And um, Call the Midwife has recently been called the most subversive show on TV. Is that something you agree with? I've loved that definition of it for years. I'm even so far as to say by series eight, which we're in now, I don't know if we're subverting anymore. If people haven't cottoned on to what we've been doing for eight years, I don't know where they've been. But yes, it, it is a show, it is subversive to those people who expect it to be soft and only soft. Finally, I think most people have worked out that what it's able to do is do this incredible balance by brilliant writing with Heidi is to balance this lightness of touch, this gentleness, this humour, with a real sharp edge. She's done it from the first series, and if you go back, you'll see. But we didn't always get the recognition for what we were trying to do. Now I think most people get that. And through that lens, through those people, and through human kindness and love, you can actually go to some hard places and make it work. You obviously have this huge interest in medical conditions and medical history. Yeah. Do you ever suggest conditions or, or storylines to Heidi that she kind of takes on board? It's never so strong as to suggest, but there have been some storylines which they've turned to me and said, oh, you'll like this one. This will be right down your street. Do you fancy this? And I'll go, yeah. One of them clearly for me, a big bugbear of mine is vaccination. And so we've seen already in this series um, the beginnings of measles trials. Now, with the problems we're having in the world with measles now, it is entirely avoidable with vaccination. And what's fantastic about this show is we can go back in time to say, you want to see why we had the vaccination in the first place? Do you want to see what people had to put up with? You know, here you are taking this for granted. This can save your child's life. And so these things mean so much to me. And let's just say that Heidi gives me a wink when things like this come along and go, oh, you like this one. Did she ever give you a sneak peek of the scripts? Never, ever, 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 ever. But it works both ways. Because what happens is she never lets me see it. I get the script with everybody else. But then I go into the bedroom to read it. And she's in agony. She doesn't know if it's going to be any good. So she, I get the, not a word of a lie. She waits outside the door and waits to see if I laugh at the funny bits or get upset at the bad bits. And her favorite response was when the door was flung back after about 40 minutes of reading and I'm in tears and I look at her in this furious way and say, look what you've done to me! And she said, oh good, excellent.